Hello everyone, my name is Samantha Summers and today we're going to talk about cats. I will be talking about the top 5 most popular types of cats in the United States according to Insider.com. First we have the exotic breed. They have an easygoing personality and a teddy bear look with soft fur. Now we have the ragdoll. They are known for their blue eyes and learning tricks easily. Next is the British short hair. They are known to have a quiet personality and they get attached to their owners quickly. Number four is the Persian. They are well known for their long coat and needing it to be brushed daily. Lastly, we have the Maine Coon. They are known for their smarts and dog-like personality. Now I will go on to describe each cat individually. First, I want to acknowledge that I'm getting all this information from cattime.com. On the last slide with the sources, I will link to each individual article about each breed. First and foremost, the exotic cat is a Persian cat with a different coat. This came to be by crossing Persians with the American shorthairs and then other shorthair breeds. Then they breeded again with Persians and ended up with the cat with the same features as the Persian but a shorter and easier to care for coat. This was originally controversial, but eventually breeders were interested in the new breed. Exotics usually weigh between seven and 12 pounds. They are sweet and love to play when they are not being pet. They love toys that they can have active play with and can also be by themselves. They are prone to eye conditions like cherry eye, breathing difficulty, heat sensitivity, and kidney disease, to name a few. They are low maintenance when it comes to grooming and care. They get along with children and some dogs. Next we have the Ragdoll. The Ragdoll was first introduced by Ann Baker, a breeder in California in the 1960s. They were given full recognition as a breed in 2000. Females can weigh 10 to 15 pounds while some males can weigh more than 20. They are very friendly and love their family. They will cuddle on the couch or in bed any chance they get. They can also learn to come when called for and to play catch like a dog. They can learn tricks quickly with positive reinforcement. Their health risks are a form of heart disease called hypertro hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an increased risk for calcium bladder stones, and a predisposition for feline infection, infectious peritonitis. They are, they are relatively easy to care for. They need to be brushed once or twice a week and are prone to getting feces stuck to their backside because of their longer hair. They are a good choice for families with children and are okay with other cats and some dogs. Now we have the British Shorthair. The British Shorthair has been represented in the media by Puss in Boots and the Cheshire Cat. The breed originated in England during the Victorian era. It was one of the first breeds acknowledged during cat shows. Females weigh 8 to 14 pounds and males 12 to 20. They are considered to be easygoing and a great companion. They love to follow their owners around and will be close to wherever you are. They are playful while a kitten but can settle down once they reach a year. Their health risks are gingivitis and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. They are both common for all breeds. They are considered easy to care for as they only need to be brushed once a week. They are good for families as they like attention from anyone including children. Next is the Persian. The Persian is one of the oldest cat breeds. Pietro della Vale, an Italian nobleman, is, is credited as being the first person to bring this cat to Europe in the early 1600s. They weigh between 7 to 12 pounds. This cat is considered quiet and sweet. They like sitting in a lap while being pet. They prefer more quiet homes and are unlikely to get on counters or shred curtains. Their health concerns are the same as the exotic breed, things like kidney disease and difficulty breathing. The main thing about the Persian cat is they need to be brushed daily. Their long hair tangles easily and will need to be brushed out. They are okay with children as long as they are gentle and not loud and obnoxious. Same for dogs. Lastly, we have the Maine Coon. The Maine Coon originated in Maine where they helped keep away mice and traveled on ships. They weigh 9 to 18 pounds and some can even weigh over 20. They enjoy being with people and always follow their owners around. Since they have a history of hunting mice, they are wonderful cats to have around to keep rodents away. They can suffer from hip dyspatia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, kidney disease, and spinal muscular atrophy. Their care is regular, only needing to be brushed once a week. They are great for families as they love attention. Here we have a chart I created comparing each of the five cats on their level of affection, shedding, health, playfulness, and family friendliness. 
The exotic is the brighter yellow, ragdoll the later green, British shorthair is blue, Persian is the darker yellow, and Maine Coon the darker green. As you can see, the ragdoll breed is the highest in affection with the final three tying at three. For shedding, as to be expected, the Persian breed is the highest with exotic and British short hair being the lowest. For health, Persian and exotic tie for worst, again, as to be expected from what we learned earlier. The British short hair has the best health. When it comes to playfulness, exotic, ragdoll, and Maine Coon tie for the highest amount. And ragdoll and Maine Coon are the best for families with Persian coming in last. This data, of course, isn't 100% reliable, but it could be an easy way to see what cat would be best for your life. Finally, these are the sources for every picture I use, the music, and information I used. I hope you learned a little bit about the top five breeds of cats in the United States and are thinking about which cat may be the best for your life.